already with us on the cafe. So, Mike, I was obviously unreachable. If I didn't get the call about this interview, I'm not that bitter. Honestly, <laughs> but you did, and you got to hang out with double world rugby champion and all black Victor Vito and his wife Amber in their home in Wellington. Yeah, I tell you what, it was fun. And he is a champion, he's traveled across the world, he's been wined and died, and he's a really great down to earth bloke. You know, despite that lifestyle of an all black, he is so down to earth and so nice. And he's a bloke with a passion for food too, which will be taken care of when they move over to La Rochelle in France shortly. Okay, well, enough about that. Let's take a look, shall we? Well, this is exciting. Uh, just chilling out in an All Blacks home. Victor and Amber, thank you for having me in your house. Welcome. No problem. So how are you guys feeling about the move that's coming up? Victor? I'm um, pretty excited, really. Um, you, know, you know, you're looking at the, the picture of, you know, France and a place that's seaside and got nice seafood and that kind of thing. But I guess logistically haven't really, hasn't really hit yet in yeah. terms of um, got to get a house, got to make sure that uh, we sort out our accounts and that kind of thing. How much of an influence did you have on this decision? Oh, but I'd say a little bit. I think France, to live in France is a dream, I think, for a lot of people. I mean, it's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, the food culture, everything about it really was quite a big draw card for she me. She was a massive influence. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not kid anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we know who makes the rules around here. Um, no, but, you know, it must be a tough decision. And obviously leaving the All Blacks, how, how has that been now to say goodbye to it? Has it been a good time? Yeah, it's been an awesome time. Um, I, mean, I think back to 2010 and then being lucky enough to be involved in the 2011 World Cup and then 2015 and leaving on a high like we did last year and then obviously we've got our kid now with Carlos and another one expected. Um, you know, I think you're just trading one love for another, which is my family now, so looking forward to going to France and doing something different. And how did becoming a dad change you? Probably just made me realise that less is more, I guess, in terms of just balance with my rugby um, and once Carlos actually came around I just got a bigger view of the world I guess and just mm. relaxed a bit and just, you know when you relax you just seem to play better rugby for some, for some reason so <laughs> makes sense yeah it does make sense I'm getting the warm fuzzies this is so <laughs> nice no because I, I understand straight away how mm. important that is you can be quite easy to get sucked up in that vortex of being an all black in this mm. country all of a sudden you've got something that grounds you haven't you mm. you know what, what's been the fun the best part of being an all black <laughs> Apart from those days where I've seen them, actually, they go in and get all their Adidas clothing. That would be really yeah, that, but no, that's forget. not bad. Um, but the um, best part of being an All Black is probably just, I don't know how, how proud it makes your family. Yeah. Um, mm. Having you in such an elite team and such a special team to this country um, and then just making them so proud. And conversely, when like in 2011 in the World Cup in the final, just seeing so many happy Kiwis, like, you know, mm. you think you're just playing a game, but... It is more than just a game for a lot of our people and gives a lot of our identity. So being involved in that is pretty cool. The travel is awesome too and all that, but in terms of a, a real reason, I guess that's probably a, that's pretty up there. And you know what the great thing is about coming to your house and doing this chat is that it makes me realise just how normal you two <laughs> actually are, you know? I'd say you so. got a beautiful little house, you got a cute little boy, you got another one on the way, and you're just, you're just a normal New Zealand family kicking around, but high achievers. So it's so nice. It's nice seeing you. you. So yeah. <laughs> No, because pe yeah. people would assume, you know, yeah. they think all black. People you know, are so. often oh. surprised when they meet you that you're down to earth. You all, you know, like we haven't changed. Why, yeah. why would you? New Zealand's too small for that anyway, mm. I think. And I think with the all blacks, they, they talk a lot about how there's a, you know, there's like a no dickheads rule. <laughs> I think you don't get too far in, in this game anymore if you're the kind of person that isn't going to be just another lad or a good down to earth sort of guy. I mean, you look at guys like Richie, he's, he's, <laughs> he's perfect for everything. Um, okay, so look, I'm just going to get a little bit more comfortable because I'm, you know, as we said, we're just normally chatting oh, in your house. So, chilling. what are you going to miss about Windy Old Wellington? The yeah. wind we won't miss. We'll yeah. say that straight up. Yeah, I yeah. think I think like anything, it's just the people. Um, like Wellington, you know, New Zealand in general, I guess. We like, know so many people here. Well, yeah. Victor's lived here his whole life. You know, everything's here. It's so easy to just go to the supermarket, and we know where all the locals are. I guess just having to adjust mm. to a whole new place is going to be. Yeah, we'll miss the ease of home. <laughs> now I feel bad because I feel like I'm making you tell me everything. <laughs> that, yeah, I know. Like, oh, do we really want to go? No. Yeah. We still want to go? We no, do. Worry, we're still we got do. some pros. Yeah, we're still got heaps of pros. <laughs> ah, yeah, nice. We can come back and visit any time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Sweet. yeah. Nice. we'll be back pretty soon. Before we go, though, I hear, and this surprises me, that you're quite a dab hand in the kitchen. Mark, our chef, he thinks I'm useless in the kitchen. Yep. So I need you two to teach me how to be a pro. Every time I help out Mark in the kitchen and I burn stuff. But today, <laughs> you guys are going to help me make something with your Thermomix. Yes. yes. What are we going to make today? Well, we're actually going to make some sorbet today. We've got our touchscreen here, so we've got our quick fruit sorbet. All you got to do is find it, which we have. 
It's got all the ingredients, so we'll just go next again. You see, we've got 180 grams of sugar. Oh, that's fancy. So you don't even have to weigh it anymore, which is amazing. You just pour it in. 110, because we actually don't want that much sugar in there. Okay. We're very health conscious. <laughs> Turn speed select it to level 10. So we're just going to mill the sugar here just to break it down. Ooh, sugar, so sugar coming out here. It just says add one lemon, flesh only. That's a lemon, eh? One lemon, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chuck it in. Okay. 300 grams of fresh mixed fruit. Yeah, keep going, keep going. You just tell me when. Yes, yeah, right. It's hard to mess up, basically. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, especially having all the numbers there for weight. Yeah. Makes it real easy, doesn't it? You don't have to measure anything out. So now. Ooh. We move on to the ice cubes. There you go. Exactly. They're ushering us along. So, oh, look. We're moving fast. We've got to focus here, you know. Well, that's why you're an all black and I'm not, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking really good. It smells good. good. Oh. It's down. Serve immediately, it says. Don't what worry about it, guys. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's actually quite good. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, Same surprise. surprise. That's so fresh, eh? Yeah. Nice to taste, thanks. Oh, <laughs> getting food in beef. Actually really good. Yummy, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, cool. You know, I think you do know you made it when you've got a Thermomix, because Mark's got one as well. Right. Yeah, pretty fancy machines. Yeah, and you know, saying he's a damn hand in the kitchen, I think it's all the Thermomix, actually. But Already you can have it, Victor, you can have it. Well, we'd all like to wish Victor and his family well over in France, indeed.